can you tell us what your um, what your view is on the tanker market? Um, firstly, I'd like to say that the order book for all tanker uh, tanker subsegments is quite uh, onerous, um, and I hope that uh, this year and the next all owners refrain from ordering more tankers. Please buy second hand or please buy resales. The uh, oil demand is growing at a very slow pace, 1 to 2%. The fleet is growing at a much faster pace. Scrapping is minimal, the very few single hulls around. So by simple mathematics, it doesn't add up. Uh, we foresee a minimum two year, uh, two more years of bad markets. And remember, when talking about bad markets, we're talking, for example, Aframax is earning two, three thousand a day with break-even of, all-inclusive break-even of 20, 25,000, so big losses. So all owners must refrain from ordering ships in order at least to make the situation better from 2013, mid-2013 onwards. Do, what do you think is the major driver be behind the suppressed rates you're talking about? It's uh, the huge supply of ships, number one, and then there are other uh, factors like, for example, the Libya shutdown, for example. Okay, and uh, of course you also control, I mean, apart from the crew tankers you control, you also control a number of uh, gas carriers. And the outlook there might be a little bit more positive, maybe not in the long term. Tell me, what is, what's your view? Uh, actually, it's funny because it's the exact opposite of the tankers, meaning that the order book for small gas carriers, the ones that we operate in, is actually negative, meaning more ships will become overage this year and the next than ships will be delivered, which is actually an ideal scenario. Moreover, as you might have heard in today's speeches, there is a lot of LNG production and LPG comes from LNG. Uh, thus, there's going to be more LPG to be shipped around. It's not allowed uh, to be burned off under the Kyoto Protocol. So there's going to be a lot of product to be moved and I think that's going to be very positive for ships. We foresee a 10 to 20% increase in, um, in freight rates for small LPGs this year. So let's see if we're going to be uh, right or wrong. Thank you very much.